okay very good afternoon to everyone today we are going to speak about the basics of geotechnical engineering so the geotechnical engineering is the sub branch in civil engineering in geotechnical engineering we are going to learn about the behavior of earth materials such as rocks soil the minerals all the things which are uh, in the earth we are going to deal with the behavioral characteristics of the all the materials in the earth the mainly the geotechnical engineering is used in the construction projects the mining areas and the military <coughs> projects and also the petroleum mining okay so these are the places where the geotechnical engineering is used and mainly the geotechnical engineering deals with the soils rocks and minerals okay the main three properties of geotechnical engineering deals with the physical chemical and mechanical properties of properties of the soil and rocks and minerals okay so when the geotechnical engineering is divided it is divided into three parts okay the mainly three parts are soil mechanics most of you have heard the, about this soil mechanics it will be in your syllabus and then rock mechanics rock mechanics is the further extension of the geotechnical engineering it will be studied in the higher level of the, your education then foundation engineering and it is the specialization in geotechnical engineering when you go to the higher education in your things okay so in this video we are going to talk about mainly about the soil mechanics okay uh, the other both things will uh, discuss it in the later videos the main thing about the soil mechanics is it deals with the soil and its properties okay so the mainly when we talk about the soil mechanics and its properties the key words are the key things in the soil mechanics is first thing will be specific weight okay the specific weight is nothing but the weight of the material to the total weight of the soil okay you got that the specific weight and the second thing is void ratio void ratio first of all you need to know what is void void means the gap between the soil yeah uh, so you can see in some places the gap between the soil or like uh, what you say the porosity and all the gap between the soil or anything is called void the gap between the materials or things or anything it is called void and what is void ratio regarding the soil mechanics okay see the void ratio is uh, we can describe it like this the ratio of voids to the total volume of voids okay to the total volume of voids i mean like solid particles to, to that you can okay okay let this go uh, we can tell that ratio of the voids to the total volume of solid particles okay so this is called void ratio uh, okay you are, here you have this seen specific weight and void ratio then we'll go for another thing yeah after the void ratio you should be learning about the porosity okay the porosity what is meant by porosity here you have learned about the void ratio no that is important thing void ratio to the total volume of soil okay you are getting the point right to the total volume of soil yeah this is called porosity the next property or key word in soil mechanics is permeability so most of you know and most of you have heard about this the permeability means the 
एबिलिटी ऑफ वॉटर टू फ्लो थ्रू सॉइल टू फ्लो थ्रू सॉइल लाइक यू नो वॉट टू बी से इफ द वॉटर हैज एबिलिटी टू फ्लो थ्रू द सॉइल इट इज कॉल्ड द परमाबिलिटी एंड दिस प्रॉपर्टी बिलोंग्स टू द सॉइल मैकेनिक्स थिंग एंड द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज कंप्रेसिबिलिटी सो द नेम इट सेल्फ टेल्स द मीनिंग ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी कंप्रेसिबिलिटी कंप्रेस वेन वी कंप्रेस द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वॉल्यूम द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वॉल्यूम वेन अप्लाइड स्ट्रेस वेन अप्लाइड स्ट्रेस और एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स ओके सी इजी एग्जाम्पल इफ दिस इज ए मेटीरियल इट इज लाइक दिस देन ऑन अप्लाइंग द लोड और प्रेशर और स्ट्रेस और वॉट एवर यू थिंक इफ इट डिफॉर्म्स इफ इट चेंजेस इट्स वॉल्यूम दिस इज ओरिजिनल एंड दिस इज आफ्टर द कंप्रेसिबिलिटी आफ्टर कंप्रेसिंग ओके and the last thing uh, the last thing is shear strength so it is easy the meaning itself tells the uh, meaning of the property shear strength ability to observe minimum uh, like if this is a material this is the shear stress shear stress how till how much the material can absorb the shear stress till the shear failure okay you are getting my point right shear failure uh till the shear failure how much shear stress a material can take is called shear strength and the last but not least there are three types of limits in three types of limits in soil mechanics there plastic limit liquid limit shrinkage okay these topics are little bit bigger so uh, i'll continue this in the next video okay yeah this is the basics about the geotechnic uh, geotechnical engineering okay yeah i'll complete in uh, the next video these three and other two properties i'll complete in the next video thank you